tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Was there ever a time in your life you were ano mga what ifs no or regrets? Ano bang ano niyo? Parang biggest na mga what if moment. I never really had a lot of what ifs in my life. Because deciding, gusto ko kung ano yung ano ko eh, mapilit ako eh kung anong gusto ko gusto ko yun yung nangyayari pero siguro even if I ha I feel that way one of my what ifs would be kasi knowing that I'm 24 now what if I didn't go into politics where would I be? so yun yung ano ko will I be a will I be a businessman? kasi I was entrep I was a and trip in DLSU, or will I be a will I be a aspiring rapper, iba singer na talaga, or I, I don't know. But before I, ano eh, alam ko I had a very tough dilemma, kasi nga uh, when I was in ano 2016 back in 2016, my dad asked me na, na parang what do you wanna do when you grow up, and then he asked me. Do you want to venture into public to politics to become mm -hmm. a public servant? Uh -oh. Sabi ko naman, sabi ko, why not? Kasi, then generally naman yan eh. I just have to do extra effort. Eh, yung pala, when I said yes, yung, susun yung consequence nun is I had to go to Alaminos na. Kasi nga sabi ko, hindi ako kilala dito sa Alaminos because I never really grew up in an Alaminos. Lagi akong nasa Manila. That's why! Mahika, medyo ano yun, you had to really build a um, relationship with yeah. the city, diba? Talaga exactly. Ba? So, me saying yes to that, yung consequence was I had to go to Alaminos every weekend. So, yung, yun yung dilemma ko na gusto ko ba to na nasit nawawala yung free time ko every weekend weekend na lang ako nag, nag weekend na lang ako nagsasaya tapos ngayon i have to go to the no, oh so there's this one point in time na parang ayoko na sabi ko na ayoko na mag mayor kasi yung wala na yung ano ko oras ko sa sarili ko blah 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 and ayun pero at the end of the day nung na realize ko rin na parang nakakasawa na lumabas, nakakasawa na lumabas every Friday, every Saturday, going to bars and everything. Tapos parang nag-lilo nag ako. Tapos parang when I, when I, doon na nag-start mag-mature yung pag-iisip ko na syempre I used to go to Alaminos and then doon na lumalabas yung vision ko na ah, pwede ko itong gawin sa Alaminos. Pwede ko itong uh, I, 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 nakita ko yung opportunity na I can make a change for a city. And then that's where it all started. Na parang, that's when I pursued ano, a public service. So after graduation talaga, wala na akong break. Tumakbo ka agad akong barangay captain. So ayun, tuloy-tuloy na. Since diba, the, I had that dilemma before, what I did was I tried to mix it. So syempre being a public servant now, with all the social issues happening in the ano in the world, sempre I have a I have the responsibility to speak up on this issue. So what I do is I do I sing. What if I make songs that is addressed to social issues that we're uh, uh, what, what we're experiencing now? So you know, ginagawa ko ngayon. I make songs about social issues. Hindi lang yung parang alam mo yung mga raps ngayon, di ba? They talk about oh, money, money, girls, whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. So, so may oh, I want to go on a, I want to go in a different direction na parang I want to, to use hip-hop. I want to use hip-hop and open up a, to spread the message parang to speak up on social issues. I know. Oo. I like that, no? Mayor, kasi eh, mayor talaga, papapamayor talaga ako sa'yo. Brian! Brian! As in, kasi, you, I really like how you're able to use that as a way to still, parang, um, voice out, toy through your rap. Kasi, I've listened to it. You have Saklolo and Bangan Pilipinas. Diba? Ganyan yung mga, ano mo, yung mga yeah. Spotify. You can check out, sa so, mga viewers there, you can check out yung rap ni Brian Celeste. Ayan, no? Like, Diba? Kasi ayaw niya, nahiya pa ata siya mag-sampo Pero konting kuliti na lang natin yung mamaya-maya Pa-sampo natin sa sampo Kuliti, oh, ay, 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 
biglang mag- biglang nakasakit ng for 5 minutes. Wala, hindi ko kaya. <laughs> so, ikaw, amo, ikaw naman, ano, iyo, like, have you ever, ano, parang napasit ba kayo ba na parang, what if, and make, na-point ka naman sa decision, and like, na pa, ano, kaya, this or that, or no way to balance both, ganon? Mm-hmm. Na siguro ano, um, after college, this is sa mga what ifs ko, kasi I, I, I had a job opportunity abroad. So, ayun, parang napapaisip ako, what if I accepted that it, it was in Spain, and parang ano kaya ang buhay ko ngayon, then napapaisip ako, parang ibang-iba siguro, pero ayun, tas ano pa ba siguro, may isa pa siguro is, Uh, just a few months ago kasi I I resigned in my sa, sa job ko. So mm-hmm. yun, to to really pursue my dreams kumbaga and yun parang uh, minsan na mapaisip ako what if I continue that corporate job and cuz cuz I I really like that job actually pero siguro at this point in my life I just want to try out different things first para rin nga hindi ako magkaroon ng regrets in the future. Yeah. And ano po ba? Regrets. Siguro ano, what if I also pursued my tennis career abroad or something after college? What if I really went all the way, kumbaga? So yun, yun yung mga napapaisip ako na pinabalikan ko pa rin from time to time. Pero I don't let it really dwell sa sarili ko kasi kumbaga, past is past. <laughs> Yes, past is past, no need to discuss. Well, actually, when you ask about what if, automatically, naisip ang mga tao, mga hugot, di ba? Mga hugot agad eh. What if I made the first move? Babae ang nagtanong. Brian. Brian, ikaw, okay lang ba kung babae nag-make ng first move? What if I made the first move? Sa'yo? Uh, wala naman problema. I mean, sabi nga nila, wala dapat tayong stereotype na it's always gonna be the guy. Ask. So, wala namang problema if the girl asks. I mean, it really depends naman yung pag... Depende naman yan sa pagkatao. You shouldn't judge the entire relationship of what it could be based on the... based on who asked first. I mean, it doesn't matter naman if it's the guy or the girl who asked. At the end of the day, magugustuhan mo ba yung babae on her personality or whatsoever. Doon okay. naman nagmamata yun. But in terms of who asked first, wala siya masyadong factor in terms of uh, uh, having a relationship with that particular person. Ay, gusto. I like that, ha? Wala, it doesn't matter, ha? Kasi nabi siya na, kasi people really have that, you know, stereotype na parang, ay, dapat, ayo, nahihiya daw siya. Kasi, hindi ko nagtalong yung um, question, person na nagtanong ngayon, kanahiya siya to make a move. Kasi, kasi siguro yung gusto niya i-DM. Nako. Ikaw, Iyo, anong take mo doon? What if I made the first move? Pag uh, mga, may nag-move sa'yo, gano'n. <laughs> may nag-move sa akin. May nag-move um, sa'yo, gano'n. Para sa akin, kasi it's, it's 2020, you know, we're all equals, kumbaga. It's 2020. So, para sa akin, walang, it, it's, walang issue yun if yung girl yung mauna. Parang, for me, that's ano pa nga eh, parang girl power you know you're you're the girl is making a step into in her decision kumbaga and it's na ito 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 gusto ko kumbaga and wala for me that's that's not an issue or anything at, like that so regardless of kung sino man yung boy or or young girl in that first move if it works it works so what if pagka love life sila especially silang dalawa. Ayan, si Mayor Brian, paano i-handle ang time management niya? He divides ang time in 24 hours. Nako! <laughs> paano daw? Paano daw handle ang time management? Ngayon, busy na busy ka, Mayor. No? Well, yeah. we have, ano, we have seven days in a week. I yes! <laughs> I dedicate five days and then the weekend. May time pa rin. May time pa rin naman. Oh, kasi dami nang sabi kasi pag ano daw pag naka you know pag pag ang dami nang sabi ginagawa ng reason talaga kasi I don't have time. 'Di ba? Nang mga ganun eh. Wala akong time, wala akong busy. Pero tag gusto ko nang tanong na yan ha. That's not really an excuse, is it? 'Di ba? Kayo, I don't take your dolly ba? Ano kasi si Brian nga sinasabi, there's 7 days in a week. Na ba you can always make time for it. Ha ha ha. Diyan ako, parang mga time diyan, how you divide the time. Ikaw, Iyo, ikaw, how do you divide down your time? Do you believe in that na? Do you believe in the excuse, I don't have time? No, para for me yun din. Parang sabi ni Brian na, you know, 
for me, you always have time. And if if yung thing na yon, if you put it first, lagit lagit magkakaroon ka ng time for that. So if if wala kang time, baka you have to reassess and think. Baka hindi hindi na kayo, hindi mo na siya gusto siguro. Ay, oh. Hi! Nako, you got after you think din pala. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang, pala, parang di ka pala ang masyadong ano, pag naisip ko pala yun. I don't have time. Ako guys ha, so alam niyo na, pag sinabihan kayo, I don't have time, medyo double think yun na yan. Kasi, may, sinasabi ni Brian siya ni Iyo, it's medyo, it's not really an excuse. <laughs> Sabi nga nila, di ba, kung gusto, may paraan. Yes, yes. 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 Hi, Isa Ramos watching right now. Hi, Chris. There's no such thing as no time. Maybe that person is the inferiority. Wow. Drop Ayun, it. Diba? Oh, tama. Sabi ni Patricia Bugia, a route siyang heavy naman po nun. Sorry, yun talagang reality. Nanggalan na po kay Brian tsaka kay Ingo yun. <laughs> what if you're able to go back in time? Which part of your life would you go to? Ay, may ganun. Ako siguro was, ano, I, because I studied abroad. I studied in Spain in, uh, for for a year. And parang, yun yung, actually, that was after, that, that was after I had the, the accident. Yes, oh. Yeah, and gusto ko siyang balikan because it was really through that experience wherein I got to know more of myself and the other things that I wanted. Kumbaga, dun sa, dun sa Spain, I had a life outside of tennis, which I didn't have before. No, you know, ever since I was a kid, since five years old, puro tennis, puro tennis, puro sports, sports, sports. As in, I, I think I really didn't have a, much of a childhood because super sa sports na talaga kami, kami mga brothers, three brothers kami, mm-hmm. and we were all tennis. And siguro ayun nga, nung time na nasa na nasa nagaaral ako abroad, it was really the time na sobrang Gusto dami kong nalaman. Yeah, gusto kong balikan kasi ang dami kong na-discover about myself. Doon ko na-discover. Very simple answer, ha? Napakasimple answer. Doon ko na-discover yung parang mga na marami pala akong mga gusto other than yun nga, tennis that, you know, I had the passion for acting, for singing, for cooking also. So, ayun. So, parang yun yung isa ko sa mga no. gusto kong nabalikan. Ikaw, Bri, medyo safe yung answer ni Igodal, ha? Hindi ko siya hindi ko siya ma-ano, hindi ko siya ma-multitease dyan. So, ikaw, Brian. <laughs> ikaw, Brian, if you had, if you were able to go back in time, na pwede mong ulitin, ano yun? Na pwede kong ulitin. Oh, pwede ba ulitin experience? Siguro, ano, for a very brief moment, kasi knowing my life right now, it's very hectic. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yung buhay na ang daming, maraming, pro- you have to solve a lot of problems. So, my life right now is very different than my life before. So, kung may babalikan man ako, even for a brief moment lang, ayoko siyang iyan. Ayoko siyang patagal. Siguro, I would want to go back to my college days where everything was easy. Alam mo yung kung... Same, same. Alam mo yung feeling na grabe, ito yung yung pinoproblema ko ngayon sisiw lang pala yung mga problema ko in college so I won't yun namimiss ko yung ano the, the easy life and yun yung lay back and everything eh kasi ngayon it's very different honestly it's not just the problems of the city involved kasi there's a bunch of politics din na kailangan mong isipin especially politics here in the Philippines is very ano oh, so ang dami mong iniisip so I, I wanna go back where everything was easier everything was simple your greatest problem before isn't really a problem later on so yun namimiss ko rin yun pero again uh, gusto ko lang bumalik doon for a brief moment kasi ayaw akong tumagal doon baka mamaya pag tumagal ako sa time na yon, mapawalwal ulit ako pag balik ko sa current <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, while wild days are honestly the best days. Mga younger days, no? Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.